So now what we need to do is that we want to display more information. So let me show you how you can get the keys here. So first of all, we need to check which keys we have. So to do that, you can simply copy the URL that we made a call to, this URL, copy it. And then in the browser, you need to paste it. And then hit enter. And as you can see, you are going to get here an error because we did not pass the a parameter here, which is the name of the movie. Let's say Batman or Joker joker here and then hit enter and as you can see this is going to return only one movie by its title so as you can see it's it's uh, a json object with a lot of information the title the year the rated the released runtime genre uh, we have also the director we have the uh, actors we have the plot we have um, a lot of things. We also have here the, as you can see, the IMDB uh, ID. We have the uh, rating. A lot of a lot of things, and also the language, which is important. The language and the country. Here, I believe they are here. As you can see, we have here the country, and we have also the awards and the language. So we can access all of these just by using dot and then the name of the key. As we have done here already, we have done in the single underscore movie, movie.title. And we, all, we also have the movie.year. So what we want is that we just need to copy this text, car text, and then paste it many times. And then I'm going to paste it like six or seven times or even more, depending upon the number of the keys that you want to display its uh, information or its uh, strings. So we want movie dot here. We already have that, and then movie dot. We have the uh, rated. We have the released. So we need to display these rated, released, and runtime. So I'm going to start with the released with a capital R. Released. Release. Released. And make sure that the spelling is correct. We have also the runtime and genre. So I'm going to say here runtime. Runtime. We also have here genre. Uh, we need also the actors and the the plot. So we need these two. I think the plot is better to be displayed first. I'm going to say here plot. And then here released. And then actors. And we also have the language language we have also the country country and we also have the image we already have the image we have the runtime we got the runtime and also you can get the here we have the uh, imdb rating you can copy this and here we have the imdb rating and i think we are done and also you can display here a text before all of these so for example the runtime you can here say run time and then a colon and then the runtime but some some uh, some of these keys are very very evident and the user uh, would be able to figure out what they are for example the actors the language it's very uh, clear that this is the language but you can say here language and then colon country you can also say here country country and then colon and you can say here rating if you wish. We say your rating. And now if you save everything and head on over back to the browser to test, let me now refresh and see what's going to happen. So if you refresh, as you can see, it looks much, much better. We have the title, we have the year, we have the storyline. I think we need here to display the plot or storyline. I'm going to say here storyline and runtime and then released released and um, here 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 and we have here actors actors and save and now let me refresh one more time to show you that it's gonna look even much better here we have the storyline the runtime the release date the actors the language the country the rating and you aren't limited to these um, uh, these fields you can get even more 
but it depends upon what you want to do. You can display even all of them if you wish. If you don't uh, and you are satisfied with this, then it's great. You can just leave it uh, like this or you can even get more. You can even get the awards here. For example, here you can say, you can copy this and then paste the, uh, this one and then say awards and here awards. Now if you save, you will have the awards here. As you can see, nominated for uh, one Oscar. So it worked, it worked. And now if you go back to the home, let me go to the home page. Let me go to the home page and refresh. And let's click on another movie just to make sure that it's working. For example, this one, uh, this one, 1992. Let me click on checkout. And as you can see, it's gonna return the poster and then the name of the movie. The, the year, the storyline, the runtime, the release date, etc. So it worked and it looks amazing. And it gives the user a lot of information about the, the movie that he or she is interested in.